Good day and welcome to the Washington State University online course regarding therapeutic drug use in the pregnant patient. My name is Dr. Nancy Gerstad. I am the newest adjunct professor here at the Washington State University College of Pharmacy. I am a proud graduate of this school and after my pharmacy education I went on to medical school and I am a board certified internist with decades of experience in primary care internal medicine and also extensive experience in administrative medicine. The genesis of this site and this program was from the input of another College of Pharmacy grad, Jerry Briggs. Jerry has dedicated his entire career to the care of the pregnant patient. And early on in his career, he noted that there was a great need for more information in this specialized area. This led him to become one of the editors of a resource textbook, which is the Diseases, Complications, and Drug Therapy in Obstetrics, a Guide for Clinicians. This book has been the outline that we used for the content of this course. The content itself is self-explanatory from the title chapters, but briefly it is divided into three areas. The first deals with the physiology of pregnancy and special considerations for drug use in the pregnant state. The second section deals with diseases that are unique to the pregnant state and not found in any other patients. The final section deals with chronic medical conditions and how these chronic medical conditions and their drug therapy is changed when a woman becomes pregnant. The presenters for this, this, this course include Jerry Briggs and also several of his colleagues including obstetrical physicians, other pharmacists, and researchers. These lecturers all will be providing you with clinical information, but they are all actively practicing clinicians, and this information is then tempered by their ongoing clinical experience. Finally, what are our goals for this exercise? Pregnancy in and of itself is not a disease state. It is, in fact, a very natural condition. But it is unique in that here the physiology of the patient is dramatically altered. And in this setting, we have to consider not one patient, but at least two patients, the mother and her unborn child, or sometimes children. So our goals is that at the conclusion of this exercise, you will have the information, the confidence, and the language you need to be a productive participant in the healthcare team providing care to pregnant women. And that you will feel that your ability to communicate effectively with the other members of the team have, has been enhanced and that you will also be a more effective communicator with these pregnant women themselves. Thank you very much for your interest in this course. Thank you for the wonderful care that you provide to these very special patients at this special time in their lives. And thank you for signing on to WSU.